What time do you call this? Late, man. Late. Nah, it's not that late. Chill, Winston. It's actually not that deep. It's yeah, like, let's go. Far. Yeah. What's happening, people? Welcome to another vlog, another special. Road to 10K is still on, man. I'm gassed. Like, we're nearly at 10K. Well, we're actually not actually at 9K yet, but. <laughs> Like it's coming. On the on the but we could you know get to Burns and it's now okay out here, baby. Yeah, actually, yeah, we could, we could. Um, Friday specials, you don't know what it is. On the way to United Stand HQ. It's been a busy week, man. We have got a lot of games coming up as well, so make sure you lot head over to United Stand to check out all of that jazz. Been an interesting week. Shout out the last people on the last vlog. Actually, I enjoyed that. That was funny. I forgot gate, the last one already. Gate crash and AFTV. Oh yeah, just, totally, you know, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, at the time he was there, they hadn't beaten Liverpool yet, so. That would have been nicer if they would have lost just to, you know, what? just get a bit of banter. What? You know, you know how it is. What? You lot were so lucky. Like, Liverpool would be on the <laughs> fucking beach, man. It's mad. Yeah, with Crystal Palace. They just who, didn't breathe. Who left the beach? They went back to the hotel yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, but to be fair, they gave us a good game. Crystal Palace gave us a good game. But what's weird is, is that Chelsea, uh, Liverpool playing that shit against you lot actually helps us. Because I think, because they're going to get presented with the trophy that day as well. Mm. And they played shit against you. And clock might go, listen, you man, sign out in style at least. We're at home, we're gonna get the trophy after the game. Hopefully they don't think, fuck it, don't care, let's play shit again, we're still gonna get a trophy in 90 minutes. Hopefully it's the other way around. But anyway, enough football talk, man. Um, big week, actually, I wanna talk about, um, I say enough football, but it's not about the actual game. But did you see, um, did you see Zaha, um, that 12 year old who got charged? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the racism thing. It's mad, isn't it? Like, the thing that gets me is like, how sad it is that like, these little kids, Right, who just want to basically get famous from? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because well, it was on Sky Sports, it was on all over Twitter, and everyone was talking about this account. And I almost feel like that 12 year old is probably thinking like, oh, "I made it." Like, do you know? Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like it's racist, obviously, because you've gone on there and made them remarks. But it's sad that like that's that's the, that's where we're at. And to be fair though, no matter how young they are, I mean, 12, I think, is over the criminal age of responsibility. I have to research that one. I think it's like... I have no like idea. I'm, I'm not a criminal. Yeah. You don't have to be a criminal to know the law. Uh, oh, yeah. That's why they would get caught in it. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think no matter how young that kid is, they deserve to be, you know, apprehended by the police and, and educate themselves and understand. Even if they were coming with this bullshit story of, I'm not racist, I just wanted to get noticed or I wanted likes or whatever, they need to be educated. And you got to think about the parents, man. If, if you're 12 years of age... Um, and younger and you're saying that kind of shit do you know what I'm saying what does that say about you I had an account do it to me on Twitter as well shout out everyone who kind of tweeted back and said don't worry and I, and I tweeted it not because it deeply affected me and I was hurt um, I, I literally tweeted like it's probably another 12 year old it just saddens me you just don't know who's behind these tweets but the thing is yeah, is that it's too, e it's too easy to just like me and you in this car right now Josh yeah, we could like just make an account right now as we're driving put a picture up of madonna or whatever don't know why madonna was the first <laughs> <in> the <laughs> i don't know she just she just was like a <laughs> um but we could literally do that and then just start like putting out bare abuse bare hate bare discriminate like we it's so easy to do it without a trace as well because once we got blocked or once once you get blocked or whatever then you're untraceable do you know what i'm saying there needs to be like a verification process like Maybe everyone just needs to But that doesn't even make because people don't even, like, like now it's, the, it's not even about the anonymity. It's just I'm on the internet, like, I'm on the internet, so I'm behind the screen anyway. No and even if, that. even if, like, because you know how everyone's always getting cancelled and all that and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, people feel they're within their right up to an, a certain extent that they can argue, say, for example, well, that's not racist. Mm. So, you know, it's my opinion. I can say whatever I want or whatever. Mm. And they can get away because technically they're right they might not agree with something mm. and whereas the perception might be well that's racist because obviously you don't agree with it but it's not it's not like directly because they haven't said no 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 they've just disagreed with an uh, opinion yeah Do you see what i'm so saying then they get labeled yeah, they, from yeah that. they get labeled racist from that but then they don't care because well it's my opinion so i can say what i want yeah Do you know what i'm saying yeah, but they don't understand that that offends people yeah i think it's the whole thing with this the racism thing as well and I was watching Good Morning Britain today and this, this, this presenter was saying like they had Stephen Lawrence's brother on there and um, they were saying he was saying like you see in like 
what what the black community needs is for the other cultures to actually change if you get what i mean or yeah. understand um it's not it's not the black people that need to be out there protesting all the time the, the other people need to get it the other cultures need to get it too and he said he said a good example he was like you look at um what we do for pride and stuff the reason why like it's so much more accepted now and, and being gay more openly and, and, and that's how the way it should be is because like society kind of moved with it and went like this is it's okay for people to be gay or for people to you know have mixed marriages or whatever like this is you know the, the awareness the awareness went up in society do you know what i'm saying and i thought that's a good comparison like we need that's that's what we need really for change um on that cancelling thing actually there seems to be a culture right now in it where everybody wants to dig up everybody's old shit of what they said years ago um and try and cancel people um Obviously you had the situation at AFTV, which they've spoken about and they've dealt with and that caused a big storm. Shout out Claude. Um, it is what it is for him. Obviously he made some comments which, yeah, you can't say those kind of things, man, regardless of how we meant it. Um, but what do you think of this cancelling thing? Because it seems like there's this culture at the minute that's like just, uh, just digging I've, and looking I've, for stuff. Like, cancelled. I've cancelled cancel culture, fam. Yeah. Like, I told you I don't That's what go it is, on, isn't it? A cancel culture. I don't, I don't go on Twitter and all that stuff away because if I was to go it's just like people that are so illogical that I can't they literally they literally live by headlines mm. do you know what I'm saying they'll see something they'll be like oh I've got be a be you know bloody social justice keyboard warriors fam mm. do you know what I'm saying just they have to comment on something if, and the thing that annoys me is not that they have that opinion it's that they form that opinion without doing any research because mm. as soon as you go and take five minutes to go and do where it is yeah even if you said something, found that you were wrong, and then went, oh, do you know what? Actually, I was wrong. Mm. But people don't do that. And then because they feel like, I've said that now, so I've got to stick with what I said. Mm. So, and then they stick with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Bloody annoying. It is. It is annoying. And I think I think it shows, like, how, like, bad-minded people can be. Like, what I'm saying is, that if you've done something wrong in your past, yeah, you've done something wrong in your past. We've all, we've all made mistakes. We've all done things. Um, that we regret I, I, I dare say Everyone has Yeah But like What I'm saying is, is Things are It usually happens When things are going Really well for someone That somebody wants to go I know I want to Go back on this person Because they're doing so well I There must be down, There man. must be something <laughs> I can do That can, can Can stop that for them Do you know what I mean And if it's something that They've, they've, they've said an offensive tweet You know A long time ago Or they've made a video Or they did something Or whatever I get that it can cause offence and you know the platform that we're on you have to understand that what you what you say and do can hurt people and offend people or just be damn right out of order I get that if they've done it ages ago where it's kind of just disappeared into the atmosphere let's say yeah. I just feel it's I just feel it's it's wrong because like you're just trying to find something because you think they're doing too well there must be something like with Stormzy he's doing so well let me let me find something that just brings him down um, but listen, when, when these things come out though Don't get me wrong You see some of them and it's like Oh, I can't believe they said that Oh, that's Pete, you can't But it's like they never said it now It doesn't make it okay It's just a really weird situation you know what the worst thing? You know what the worst I'm, not, I'm not saying these people are not wrong yeah. For whatever they did I'm just saying like why To bring it up now when they're flourishing It just no, do you know what The worst one is, is when, when the thing Or if this happens When the situation's already happened yeah. They've already publicly apologised. Da, da, da. Yeah. Everyone's forgot about. It, everyone's moved on, and then they bring it back, they and then they kick it, it off again. What do you want them to do? Yeah, oh, and yeah. then the thing is, for a certain amount of time, they attach that thing to that person. So, say for example, I don't know. Let's take for example, uh, Kevin Hart and the thing that he done at the awards or whatever, yeah, yeah, and he has yeah, to apologise yeah. or whatever. Yeah. That he already done. Who uh, already apologised for it years ago? Da, 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 da. Mm. So now every article that comes out it says Kevin Hart, who recently had tweets coming out that said yeah, 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 yeah. just to remind you keep it fresh in your mind yeah. we're angry at this guy for whatever for reason that. do you know what I'm saying and then something else comes and he gets brushed over and then we move on mm. and then until someone decides to bring it up again do you know what's weird though in that, in that world of stardom or public life or whatever your celebrity whatever you want to call it YouTube content where people there's a high volume of viewership yeah, where people can form an opinion in that world yeah, it's like it's very it's a lot less forgiven it's a lot less forgiven than like normal life so yeah. say i made a mistake like say i fucked up yeah and i went josh man sorry man i did that like 
I don't know, I did something to you or I don't know, I just did something that was wrong, yeah? And I apologise to you for that as as friends, yeah? Ate my pizza. Ate your, I ate your pizza. How many yeah? And that was the last pizza you had. Oh, no. And you had no food for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying you're, you're literally your worst nightmare. But anyway, yeah. Say like me and you have dealt with that, like in normal life, it's like cool, that happened a long time ago, I'm not gonna keep holding you to that same fucking pizza. Like it is yeah. what it is. But like if that got played out in front of like millions, let's just say it's such a hypothetical situation, but it'll be like, don't even know why Josh is still talking to that guy. <laughs> he took his pizza. Even though we'd done a video saying like, oh, I squashed or whatever, then like everything would go well. Say we got to a million subs on this channel and that. Uh, well, I remember when Flex took that pizza. Don't even know why Josh, like everyone just like, I don't, I just don't get it. It's so interesting, man. It's, it's sad really. Um, but one thing I did learn about this week, I feel like this is quite a deep vlog. Yeah, totally. But I don't mind that. You, know, you can't be funny all the time. You have to, this is part of life. Anyway. Um, you can be funny I've learned though, I've learned, which I've which I knew before, just how important it is to I don't know, like just how what you what you what you say at, with what we do can be taken out of either out of context or in context because you made a mistake, a slip of the tongue, you wasn't thinking, you can hurt people's feelings, you can like you gotta be really sensitive, like but at the same time still be you. I don't think people realise how difficult that is sometimes. I think it just comes down to the type of person you are. You get some people's content which is very aggressive, very direct. I don't give a shit what anyone says. If you don't like me, turn me off. You look at what Katie Hopkins has done. You know what I'm saying? When she, now she's just banned off, <laughs> off, tw off Twitter. She had like one million followers. And all she would do is say racist stuff and I can't stand a woman. But her opinions were her opinions, even though how, the, how outlandish they were. But like within our space, if you one slip of the tongue or one view that's like, how can you hold that view? Or one attack on a certain, you know, group of people because you're being irrational or you're angry or you're emotionally charged, you're done. You're done and that, that for me is, um, you've got to remember that if you're ever in this game, I think. I mean, but at the same time, you want to be yourself. You're not coming on here trying to be fake. You're not coming on here trying to be filtered. But you have to have, you, you just have to have a balance, I think, innit? Yeah. Like, you're completely yourself. Even though you're not on camera like that, but you're just mad. Like, yeah, no man. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't tone it down and like thing. Nah, but no. at the same time, but with, within reason, do you know what I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna come out saying some stupidness. Yeah. And if I did, I'll edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just don't say shit. But I hear what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, exactly. And if if you do, uh, uh, also as well, we all say things in group chats or with our friends or you think oh, that was a bit rude or I can't really say that or whatever. But to go on a public domain where it's going worldwide, you have to look over your shit and think, am I offending people by saying this? I just think you have to care about that. That's just me. I wouldn't be that person who goes, I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. Because do you know what it is? To be fair, you do need a little bit of that. Like yeah. in terms of like your content and kind of doing like a little bit of a, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, this yeah. but like, that is my advice. When people say to me like, oh, I'm starting this, I want a bit of a, I always say just be yourself. Like, don't let anyone change you. Yeah. But at the same time, you gotta have a balance because you can't go, yeah, I'm just gonna be myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking swear at everyone, call everyone pricks, just go mad at everyone. You know what I mean? With For me, the perfect example is Ricky Gervais fam. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he'll be like, if you give him your opinion or something, he'll be like, all right, cool. I don't have to agree with that, whatever, that's your thing. Whereas if you try and force something and be like, no, I'm not having none of that. Yeah. That's not that's not a fact. Why do I have to do what your thing says that I have to do or yeah, whatever? Yeah. That's how I'll be like, you know, do you know, speak your mind. Yeah. I was like, if you're not attacking anyone, yeah, and this is the thing, and this is why with his comedy and stuff like that, I'll be like, if you're not attacking anyone, yeah, the the joke is about the subject and not about like say for example the individual. Uh, the individual. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's what's fun and if you can't understand that or comprehend that well then there's a problem with me in it like really yeah, then you're the one with the like, and it's been that I find that with a lot of things and I've realised this in the last few weeks when you have to sit down and explain something but the person just can't get it like especially with, like, with the Black Lives Matter thing like I was saying this last night when I was chatting I was like how can you not understand that like and even when I'm saying it now I'm like <laughs> every time you repeat it it's not about 
only Black Lives Matter. Yeah. It's Black Lives Matter as much as yeah. da, 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 da. So everyone's. You, I don't understand what is so hard to comprehend about why that. Why don't you get that? Why? What are you campaigning against? It's so against? simple. Like, yeah, why, it's, why are you counter protesting equality? Yeah. <laughs> everyone's like it's such, equal, it's such yeah. a simple concept. Yeah, and if you can't understand that, yeah. that's because it's been it's been drilled into you. That's yeah. how you've been educated. And if you're not willing to learn and to change mm. or whatever, at no least chance. have an understanding. Go. Oh, okay, I understand, but I disagree. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But people always say they understand when they don't understand. Yeah. They just go, well, my opinion is the right opinion, so I'm not really listening to yeah, you. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah I don't like that. None yeah. of that. There you go. Let us know what you lot are saying about the cancelling culture, the racism, you know, the young kid, he's 12 years of age, got done for racism. Talk to us, man. That's what it's about. Um, yeah, quite. A, I'm not even going to say a morbid start to the vlog, but just talking about what's on our minds. I like doing this kind of shit. You know what I mean? When you're on United Stand all the time, and it's all about football, it's all about Dr. Rashford and Marshall FC. He is Dr. Rashford, <laughs> Dr. MBE, PhD, BA Honours, <laughs> YMCA, uh, YMCA, MBE, OBE. <laughs> Listen, man, like Rashford, hold tight. But yeah, when you're doing that, I listen. I love football, but. In my normal life, this these, this is the kind of things I talk about, and I wouldn't be being real on on the flex if I weren't doing this. So, apologies if you thought, oh, that was a bit boring. Talk about sport. You may as well just unsubscribe, but don't do it yet. No, don't, 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 you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that. Well, if you think this, then I ain't got you. Unsubscribe. Don't, maybe don't watch. <laughs> maybe don't watch me, but don't unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. But big up yourselves, man. Anyway, we're gonna get to United HQ. Um, United HQ, I feel like I'm going to Old Trafford. <laughs> United Stand HQ, um, and we'll see you there, peace. Yes, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Josh okay. forgot the microphone, so we're going to make it. Goldbridge go. forgot the tripod, so he's doing it. <laughs> 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 that's, the that's the one that ain't got the head in it. Oh, or whatever. Man. Yeah, so uh, just totally. Uh, today's makeshift day, but do you know what? We're going to make it work. It's going to be magical. You will never know. You will never know, except that guy. Okay, yeah, totally. I read your comment. Don't worry, I'll delete it as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to the show. Yes, mateys. Just missed my train filming the end of this vlog, but then, you know, I time traveled back to the middle of the vlog to let you know that only, well, I, I forget the insert percentage here. Ding! Yeah, totally. That that much. That much of you have subscribed and uh the rest of you aren't, so you know, get with the program and uh yeah, subscribe mate, totally. No, no, no. Yeah, totally all done. Mark in selfie modes, totally. Gonna do this Zoolander pout. <laughs> Mark's always that. <laughs> that was like a Chabadi G. <laughs> yeah, Chabadi <laughs> pout. <laughs> Oh, Mark. Mark should put his legs up. Mark, if we weren't here, Mark would be fucking giving it all that. I would want a laptop there and a camera there and I'd just sit back doing a live stream. If you used well, to do if you used to do modeling, what type of modeling would you do? Football probably, kits. They'd probably want me in like <laughs> coats and Hugo Boss and things like that. What? Watches. Why are you going they would probably want me? Why are you casting up why are you working out what the industry wants of you? I've I've said this to my agent, you know. Get me, get me Hugo Boss. Get me Lyland Scott. Yeah. Armani. Is that your thing? Rolex. Like, class. Class. Ferrari. Yeah. Do it all in one shoot. <laughs> Roll the at Ferrari. There's my watch. Hugo Boss jacket. Um, yeah. It's like a walking John Lewis commercial. <laughs> so it wouldn't be like underwear. Slash a boot. Slash a boot. <laughs> yeah. And I wear my trousers. Wear my trousers like that, so you can see it where it says Ralph Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Goldbridge, should we do some like modelling for like um, charity or something? We could, do, we could do a calendar next year. Yeah, United Stand calendar. United yeah, Stand calendar. I tell you I'll what. Tell you what. Green uh, screen. No, do you know what? Oh, it's ain't looking good if it's Ricky and his speedo. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. I was like, you know, Ricky July, stick it in there. Ladies <laughs> would love that. In the paddling pool, <laughs> speedos. With so dramatic. dramatic. So <laughs> So I would have Harry Beckenbauer on top of his thing and a picture of Harry Maguire. Do you know what? Let's do this. A United Stand um, <laughs> for charity. For charity yeah. calendar. That would be sick, actually. Otherwise, it would be embarrassing when it makes no money. <laughs> <laughs> no one buys it. It's for charity. Just buy it. Yeah. <laughs> We're making no money from this, obviously. <laughs> Big week. Good coverage in the selfies. He loves it. 
He actually takes more, so yes, I don't like it. Mate. I yeah, don't like it, but I haven't done anything on Instagram for ages, and apparently you should. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the different angle, that's the problem. I've done more. Oh, there we go. He's done exactly the same one with this arm aside. This guy is just not a normal person. He needs to make sure he gets that Cantona in there, isn't it? It's like, oh, yeah, too. Where's King, man? I thought King was there. Dude, oh, man. Right, yeah, day, I should uh, probably start editing or something now. Yeah! yeah. Done. It's a wrap. Done. It's a wrap. Well, it's nearly a wrap because you're exporting, isn't it? But it's something like that. Wrap. I'm back. Standing on the rooftop, shout it out. Baby, I'm ready to go. Bye. Because <laughs> I've yeah. got such a wide array of musical tastes. I just think it's because you're nuts. You can go to Erasure in the 80s. You can go... Vanilla Ice in the nineties. I can't even discover. in the noughties. Oh yeah? What candy shop on that one? Magic stick. You got a magic stick? I've got a magic stick. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the candy shop, but I don't know what you're talking about other than that. I think I'm getting Vinny mixed up with uh what's his name? Married the Kardashian. Kanye, Kanye West. No that no, that that don't kill you. <laughs> Can only make you stronger. I had that in my wedding. Did you? Yeah. Fuck. Well, that's the first time. <laughs> Diversification. <laughs> and the wife likes Kanye West. And I, 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 that's, I'm with music, I'm a bit like that. I don't really pigeonhole myself. I, yeah. mean, I like, like a bit song. of everything. But I liked that song with H and the other one. You know, Ray. That Ray. Ray. Oh, I yeah. love it. AJ <laughs> Tracy and, and H, you know? Yeah. Man like, man like. That, he knows more than me, fam, because when he said H, I thought he was talking about steps, fam. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like steps. Hey, Mark on the cheese and the, and the, the classic, like, that, would, that would be you. Bit of S Club 7, all that, Bewitched. I like yeah. lots of music. Living yet. I had my one band in the 90s. Who's your favourite band of the time? The yeah, Oasis, even though they're Sports City. Yeah. yeah. Straight up Oasis. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite rapper, Josh, of all time? Favourite musician. Oh, well, you know musician. Michael Jackson! There you go, fam. The uh, king, fam. You can't. If anyone says that he did anything wrong. Don't, right? You're starting. You're just oh, trying to wind me up, fam. Don't you. Oh. Hey. hey you remember know, remember who's don't... editing this, yeah? yeah remember yeah, who's editing this, yeah? No, don't be a pagan and take it out. <laughs> no, Target. I'm going to put something on your face or something. Oh, yeah, you? You but I, I, I never liked Michael. I've said this before. You okay. don't like his music, no, like seriously. Okay. So what? You don't think he was as talented as you? I think, I think it's that sort of music where you go, "That's really good," but I don't like it. Like One Direction. <laughs> you see, I like that though. Lots of people do that because when you go, it, when people go, "Oh shit, I don't like it," or whatever, like it's it's fact, isn't it? If you go, "Oh, do you know what? Yeah, this might be right. It's not my cup of tea." Everybody yeah. I know likes his music. I yeah. just if it comes on the radio, I'd be like, Elvis. No, again, not really into his music. Beatles, Beatles is another example. Um, I think all their music's good, but I don't like yeah, it. I love it. Queen. I've, I've got that I with the Beatles Queen. as well. Oh, I do love Queen, yeah, too. Prince? No. George Michael? Yeah, I love George Michael. I do love George Michael. Wee! Nene! Wee! Nene! Wee! Dude, I could sing that song all day, but only only just that bit. Yeah. I, I found a George Michael. Wee! I've never heard it before, Christmas song. Really, really good. Was it last Christmas? No, it wasn't last Christmas. That is the most. Who's that? Do you know what? Last Christmas I heard this George Michael song. What is your favourite Christmas song? Power of Love, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Is it? It's not even really that Christmas. I was going to say, that's not it. And, 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 and. How about the one? Probably Slade. What's yours? Well, I don't have a favourite because I think they're all shit. However, a good old Christmas. Christmas Carol, yeah. Twelve days of Christmas. You can't get past a good. Five well, how you like games? That's you know when it's Christmas. Seven, six, seven. 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 Oh, I do like that one. Your time is here. That is one of my favourites. Simply, hey. That's my favourite one. Yeah, I like that one. Do you say Paul McCartney? Yeah. Boy, that was Cliff Richard. That's Paul McCartney. That's Paul McCartney. It's Paul McCartney. It is nice. I wouldn't know. I don't really like the McCartney. You know, I don't mind his wife's sausages, but you know. 
Linda McCartney. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you don't like them now. They have it. <laughs> um, next Friday then. That'll next Friday. Yeah, cool. then. That's cool. See you Peace out, Goldbridge. See you later. Goldbridge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, enjoyed it man. Um, started off with a little bit of a deep convo, that's just how it was today. We keep it real, we don't like shy away from anything, you know what I mean? So yeah, good to see Goldbridge as usual, doing his thing. Big up, keep watching, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, bottom right hand corner, smash the like on the video. Road to 10K, we've got 1K to go man, let's try and hit it within, let's say, what do you reckon? A month? Nah, nah fam, nah. less than that, Two less weeks. than that. Three weeks. One week, One people. Week. One week! Nah, We're gonna nah. do this. I don't know about We're that. We're gonna do this! No, we can't do that. Copyright claim. Mama no! Yeah, I don't know about that. But anyway, let's just try and get there. And shout out to the person who said, Flex should be you know, gonna do more. Hope he does more. This channel should get more than 10. Just taking it in baby steps, man. Of course, I've got aspirations for a million. Why not? But 10, 50, no, no. 20. <laughs> we actually just go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10, 10, 20, 5, 50, 10, 20, 100. 50, 50, 100. Yeah. Anyway, smash the <laughs> like button, subscribe. Peace yeah. later.